What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my Christ subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can slash this up and then be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs, path to side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. I got another one, so I'm going to deliver it. Hope everybody's doing well. Okay, so the channel message I received was through many series of chain of events, a toxic family, I heard certain family members specifically, and a former um, credit union employee is about to be charged with bank fraud soon. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. That's what I heard. Uh, some kind of bank fraud. Um, we're going to, I mean, I'm sure we all know what bank fraud is. I, I mean, I, you know, it's pretty obvious from hearing it, bank fraud, but... I'm going to look up the exact definition so everybody's on the same page, okay? Um, it is toxic family members. I heard certain toxic family members, so I don't think the whole family unit was involved with this, I'm presuming, because I heard certain toxic family members and one former credit union employee. It is a credit union employee, not a banking institution employee, if that resonates. Um, bank fraud. It hasn't happened yet. Bank fraud definition via Google definition. Bank fraud is the use of potentially illegal means to obtain money, assets, or other pro property owned or held by a financial institution or to obtain money from de depositors by fraudulently posing as a bank or other financial institution. In many instances, bank fraud is a criminal offense. Bank fraud is defined as using deception to steal money or assets from a bank, financial institution, or a bank's depositor. Yeah. Um, using deception to steal money or assets from a bank, financial institution, or a uh, bank's depositor. Bank fraud law, any illegal act that involves the use of deception to obtain money or other property from a financial institution. Yeah. Um, yikes. So you plug it in, how it resonates. I feel for a lot of you guys. You know this toxic family or you know the toxic family members in this toxic family that has committed this bank fraud. Uh, and you're about to see it manifest in 3D. Maybe you're about to hear they're about to uh, be charged. I'm presuming, obviously, they're about to go to jail and then await, I'm assuming, await trial. I'm assuming. I don't know. I don't work in the legal sector um, or the um, police sector, so I don't know the proper policies and procedures there. But... Um, Obviously, I'm assuming they're going to jail for this. I mean, if not prison. I mean, hopefully they go to prison. That is serious. But um, <clears throat> it is toxic family members, certain toxic family members, and a former credit union employee. It is in a credit union. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates through many series of chain of events. So like I said, it hasn't happened yet. So um, you plug in, how it resonates. For some, I feel you could be investigating them. For some, I feel you could be investigating them or you're about to arrest them or something of that nature. You plug it in, how it resonates. Um, let's see. I forgot to get earth magic. I hope everybody's doing well. I do, I do, I do here. And if you, uh, thanks everybody for sharing my channel. It's really helping get my channel around social media and to new people that know my business and uh, that don't know my business and my content. Um, I really, really, really appreciate it um, a lot. We're almost at 15,000 subscribers. Experiments is a chef for collective. And when we get to 20, I'm going to um, do a giveaway. I'm going to do a giveaway. Um, with the three free readings like I did at 10,000 and I'm going to include a singing bowl for uh, the fourth giveaway. Okay. You can't make this up even if you wanted to unfold it. Series of chain of events that are about to occur. Some kind of bank fraud. Uh, somebody's talks. I feel for some of it could be your toxic family members that have committed this bank fraud or somebody you know in your community toxic family members that have committed this bank fraud. Uh, how this resonates. Unfoldment series of chain of events and a former credit union employee. Um, too. So I think they cahooted with the toxic family members to help um, commit the bank fraud. 
I feel for a lot of you guys, it was on you. It was definitely on you. It was definitely on you. That's confirmation. It was definitely on you. So the bank fraud was on you. Your toxic family cahooted together with a former credit union employee to commit bank fraud on you. If this resonates, series of shame events, they're about to be charged. Holy crap. All right, let's pull a kipper. I do feel guided to get a kipper. Promise reversed. They've lied. They've deceived the bank, uh, the credit union, because the hurt credit union. They've, uh, they've stole from you. I feel they probably haven't even told you. They have not told you. It's about to backfire in a huge way. Okay, I heard they have not told you. They have not told you. That's confirmation. They have not told you. It's about to backfire in a huge way. So promise reverse. They've lied to others. They've lied to the credit union. They've lied to... Uh, they have withheld information from you. They still haven't told you about this bank fraud. And Well, it's good they haven't told you because um, you don't want to get involved in criminal matters. So lies and deception. Promise reverse. Oh, this is yikes. This toxic family is about to be mortified. But they have brought it upon themselves. Okay, I heard take it. This toxic family is about to be mortified, so extremely embarrassed, but they have brought it upon themselves. So message number seven could be a very significant number in one's life. Number seven, message. I think they're about to be uh, embarrassed because they're, I think they're about to get arrested. I mean, I, I'm presuming. Huge communication is about to go out like wildfire. It's about to happen soon. They never thought they would get caught. Huge communication is about to go out like wildfire. Um, they never thought they'd get caught. So I think one of you guys might work for the police. I think one of you guys might work for the police precinct or police department that's about to arrest them. I just intuitively feel it. I didn't hear you did, but intuitively, I feel one, you could work for the police and you're about to arrest these people. There's a reason I'm getting this, or you could know this toxic family, or you were the one that was bank frauded. Cause I heard you were frauded. You were the one that was bank frauded. Um, so your toxic family frauded you and used his credit union and cahooted with the former credit union employee to do it. But intuitively, I feel for one of you guys, you might be a police officer or, um, something of that nature that watches my channel. Communication is about to go out like wildfire, and um, it's about to happen soon. I heard they never thought they'd get caught. So this could be text, um, email, phone call, snail mail, um, what have you, what have you. Some face-to-face, -face, some kind of communication. Message card can be any kind of communication, but it's about to go out like wildfire. I think on these, t the toxic family members, certain toxic family members that committed this bank fraud. And that could be the unfoldment of series of chain events too. All this communication about to go out, which is, I'm presuming, going to lead to arrest. They stole a great fortune. Left you, privileged lady, reverse. Um, I feel for a lot of you guys. I heard you, they stole from. I think you're a femme energy or masculine takes on heavy femme. They stole your great fortune, ma'am, or sir, that takes on ma'am energy. But we have poverty reversed, so I'm assuming you're still not in poverty. Um, I think they, obviously, they were trying to leave you in poverty. You were not in poverty. They were hoping you'd be depressed, you'd be down, but it's about to backfire on them in a huge way. Okay, I heard you're not in poverty, and you're, they wanted you depressed, but you're not depressed, you're not down, and it's about to backfire on them in a huge way. So, they were hoping to steal all this money from you, to leave you depressed, and down in the dumps, and they thought, they wanted you to overdose, but you've never been a drug addict, or an alcoholic. They wanted you to overdose, but you've never been a drug addict, or alcoholic. So, they wanted you to overdose, they wanted you to get depressed and overdose, I heard. But I heard you've never been a drug addict, or alcoholic. Well... Uh, okay, but you don't even know they've sold this money from you. 
They've never even told you they stole the money from you. So how the hell did they expect you to overdose over money you didn't even know was yours? Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. Someone's get I'm serious. How the hell did these people expect you to overdose when, one, you don't have a history of alcoholism or drug use, and two, you don't even know about this money because they haven't told you. So you don't have a history of drug use or alcoholism, so you're not even prone to doing that shit. There's no history. And they've never told you you stole the money. So how did they expect you to overdose when you don't even know you're missing out on the money because they haven't even told you? I mean, I'm serious, but yet you're still not in poverty. I heard it's about to backfire on them in huge ways. Series of chain of events. I, I don't get this toxic ass family. I don't get it. But you plug it in how it resonates. All right. Let me see if I hear anything else, you guys. This is about to turn into a very huge thing. N newsworthy. It probably will be on the news. This is about to turn into a huge thing. Newsworthy. It will probably be on the news. So I've been picking up a lot of news energy in here. Um, I, if y'all remember like a month or two ago, I did a reading where news, there was news stations that were blackmailed for years and now they're not blackmailed anymore. So it might be a news station that was blackmailed, possibly that's going to cover it or not. But I heard it's newsworthy. It probably will be covered on the news. And absolutely, this is newsworthy. This, to me, should go fucking national to teach toxic families lessons about stealing from folks. I heard they wanted you to overdose, but you don't even have a history of drug use or alcoholism. But yet they stole, I mean, but yet they haven't told you about all this great fortune they stole from you. What? Like, what? They need, they need more than mental, mini mental health assessment. And I'm just being for real. I heard it probably will go newsworthy. Um, and I heard it is newsworthy. I'm sorry. It is newsworthy and it will probably go be on the news. It should be on the news. If anybody needs to hear this, if you're a newscaster and your news station hears about this, it should be on the news because it needs to teach toxic families lessons about stealing from a family member because they've stole from a family member. I heard you. So if one of you guys, you're the family member they stole from. But yet they were wanting you to get depressed and off yourself basically with an od but you don't even have a history of that like what all right i love you guys it just don't make sense man and i'm telling you this from a person that does not i don't have addictions i've never had a history of drug use or alcoholism i don't think like an addict now i do have i do smoke cigarettes and that's just the truth but i don't have a history of drug use any drug use or alcoholism so I'm speaking from a place of non-addictions here, and I'm not judging former addicts that have got themselves clean. Absolutely not. I just want to disclaim of that. But it doesn't make mental sense is what I'm saying. This person don't even have a history of that, and they expect them to go off an OD? Usually, you get up and you keep fighting. Usually. Or, and that's just the truth. Or you should. All right. I love you guys. I'm going to say.